at all these pilchards right here. Oh my the shark! The shark! Dad, oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish guy Jack here, back with another video. We're at the beach today, as you guys can see. It is extremely, extremely windy and rough, but you know what? We're still making it happen. We got Kyle behind the camera again today, thank God. But the goal is gonna be to catch a bunch of baby fish here, take them back to the aquarium, and feed the big pond out back, spike, the grouper, everything. And then if we can get lucky with a little bonus, maybe we'll catch a big, big fish. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw this net here. It's about a six foot net. It's gonna absolutely crush these things. At this time of the year, there's millions of bait fish swimming up and down the beach. So it should not take very long to absolutely load this net up. Well, Kyle and I are making a walk all the way down here to the bait because you know what? The bait decided to stay in one area today. Usually. They're swimming up and down, but there's just one big school right out there. It's the dark, dark, dark cloud. That's all bait, so. It's all moving up. It's moving, yeah. Let's just set it up right here. Okay. Whew. Thank God. I got a little nervous, guys. Thought I wasn't going to get a video, but we're good to go. All right, we're loading the net up. We got a huge cloud of bait right here. I mean, we're going to literally get thousands right here in the first throw. Let's do it. Baby. You know, I thought I was gonna get more, but I thought they were a lot smaller, but they're big. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in the bucket, and I'm gonna go do another throw. All right, so here's what we just caught. Look at all these pilchards right here. We got a regular pilcher with a little black dot, and then we got some that are uh, a little different. These guys are a sandy key pilchard. They got a little like, they got a little gold dot here. They're not as good of a bait, but they still get the job done. I mean, we have, we have a, we have so many of them. Guys, when I tell you there was gajillions of them, like there's, it's different once you get near them because they'll kind of swim away. But if you're seeing it from a bird's eye view, you can't see the bottom of the ocean. There's that many fish just piled up on top of one another. I'm gonna net some more, but we're gonna also try and catch a super big fish. You guys are going on the GoPro right now. Let's see if we can get something big and something exciting for you guys. If not, I'll see you guys back at the house. Fish on, fish on y'all. Don't know what we got, but we got a fish on ladies and gents. Is that what? Oh, he just got off. It was a barracuda. All right, over one on the barracudas right there in the deep water. Let's go back, get another bait, hopefully get another. Now that barracuda ended up being the only fish that I hooked at the beach. As you guys could tell, it was extremely, extremely windy. And uh, you know what? I tried to film as much as I could there, but sadly, the weather just didn't really want to cooperate. But I'll tell you who is going to cooperate, and that is this pond right here. These guys are hungry, I can guarantee you. It's been a couple days since we fed them. And you know what? They're hungry. We got a ton of these little pilchards inside here. Take a look at that bad boy right there. Watch this. You guys see that peacock right there? Watch this. Oh yeah! All these fish in here are out of control. I mean, my favorite has to be by far that platinum red tail right there. So let's see if he would like a treat. Come on, boy. Problem is, we got this bad boy. Look at this thing. This thing is like a trained dog. Watch, watch. Come on, come on. He'll jump for it, y'all. Oh! There is just so many fish in here, and but the problem is the peacock bass just don't give anybody a chance to eat. Look at these red tails. Look at these red tails. There you go, Jeremy. There you go, Jeremy. I would like to hand feed this tarpon on camera for you guys, so let's see if he will do that. Oh, that was that was the peacock. That was the peacock that wasn't it. Here he is. Here he is. Ah, you get scared. Oh my god. You guys, that is frightening. I've got a bunch more in here that I'm just gonna go ahead and feed to everybody because these guys are hungry. Look at that, boom. Here's our platinum right there. Oh, baby. This platinum red tail is just absolutely ridiculous. All right, I got the biggest pilchard in the bucket. This one I'm hand feeding to the tarpon no matter what. Here he is, right here. Here he is, come on. Come on, tarpon. Come on. Wow, he doesn't want it. Y'all watch this tarpon. Boom. So graceful, there's the platinum red tail. Oh, these fish guys, they are just, they're the best. They're the best. Let's see who gets those. Let's see who gets those and then we're going in there. Platinum red tail and the peacock bass. We've got a ton more inside here, but I want to take them into the shark tank so I can hand feed those sharks and I want to give some to the blue cod and I want to give some to my group in my room. We got a packed feeding video for you guys. Let's go. All right, it's time to feed this big old blue cod, our mora eel right there, the yellow headed, who's a, such a beast of an eel. Let's go ahead, pop this lid open. Grab me a nice 
fresh meal and watch this blue cod y'all watch him watch him he's looking at it he's looking at it he's got it in reverse he's got it in reverse here he goes i know he's hungry he wants it here he goes oh my god oh my god he just lit that thing up he looked at it he looked at it and then just went i'm done with you Boom. Gone. We gotta give one to the lionfish, so we'll drop that one in there. Oh my god, the blue cod's gonna get it again. The blue cod might get that again. Look at him, look at him. Oh, no, 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 look who it is. Oh, blue cod, blue cod, watch this, watch this. Night, night, oh my god, he's a freaking beast. Now guys, he's a big fish, but he's no bigger than what Pots was. So I think what we're gonna end up doing is moving this rock structure around a little bit to give him a little bit more room until we find him a new either tank or pond. Who knows what we're gonna end up doing, but he's doing well in here, eating. And you know, he's got all his color back. He's an absolute beast. Look at this, guys. Look at this, look at this. Oh, you guys gotta be kidding me. I mean, listen to him. He's an absolute beast. That's number three. If you guys want me to go back to the beach, cast nets and baits, and keep them alive to throw inside here to watch this guy swim around like crazy and eat these pilchards, 2,500 likes and I'm doing it. Smash a like on this video, I think it would be crazy. He would be exploding. Honestly, he might just knock all the water out of the freaking tank. It'd be nuts. All right, one more for this guy because I cannot get enough of him eating. I cannot get enough of him eating. Here he comes, he's gonna come out. Is he gonna come out though? He might. Okay, hang on. Let's. That was a bad toss. That was a bad toss. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. All right, listen. Everybody listen to this. Well, I guess he might be full. That was either three or four that he ate, but the lionfish will definitely eat him, and so will the yellow-headed mora eel. They'll both, you know, clean up the scraps. Oh, he's about to eat this one. Look at this. Look at this. There he goes. I knew he was going to clean him up. Look at that. See you later, buddy. He takes it right back into his cave and absolutely demolishes it. I really, really like this tank. If we can just redo it a little bit, I think it would be, whew. Top five favorite. Now it's time to feed this shark right here. He's definitely hungry, but I wanna try and hand feed him. So I gotta get him to come up a little bit. Oh, this grouper might steal it. Guys, he might hand feed right here. He might hand feed right here. Oh, hold it. Ow, the shark, the shark, the shark. All right, I got my hand inside the shark tank. I'm going in for it. I don't care. I wanna hand feed this shark so bad on camera for you guys. Come on, come on, buddy. Come up here. Come on, Mr. Shocky. Come on up here, Mr. Shock. Come on, Mr. Shock. Come get this. You know what? Today, it just doesn't seem like it's his day. He doesn't want a hand feed, but I'll go ahead and drop that down to him and let's watch him just absolutely devour it. All right, he's about to crush it. There he goes. Boom. Crushed it. The shark just absolutely crushed that pilchard. What a beast. What an absolute beast. He's trying to tear it all up. He's an animal. Feeding these tanks definitely never gets old, but I got two more pilchards that I'm gonna take upstairs. Feed Bolt and Feed Spike or Zeus, whoever gets it first. So let's head on up. How's everybody doing this beautiful afternoon? We got Zeus right there in the back just waiting for me to put some fish inside. We got Spike looking at me and we got Bolt dancing around and all around the tank, baby. These guys are absolute beasts and I think they're ready to go, so. I'm gonna start with this little tail section here because you know what? This is still a pretty big size meal. And in goes the tail. I'm just waiting for that grouper to eat it. Boom! Just like that, grouper crushed it. Grouper absolutely crushed it. Look at him. He's all lit up and now Bolt's on the scent trail. Comment down below. Do you think Bolt can eat this whole entire pilchard right here? I'm gonna drop the whole thing in there and I'm hoping Bolt's gonna get it. But do you think Bolt will be able to eat this thing Hole. Comment down below. All right, here it goes. It's going inside. Bada bing, bada boom. In it goes. Spike, I would leave that alone because here comes Mr. Bolt. Spike, no, come on, dude. You don't want that. I know you don't. You would be absolutely destroying that thing already if you wanted it. It ain't a shrimp. It's a fish, okay? This is for the meat eaters, not the shrimp eaters. Come on, Bolt. Come on, Bolt. People got bets on you. Yes or no. People got bets on you. He smells it, though. That is for sure. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's trying to keep it away from him. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go, here we go. Were you guys right or wrong? He's trying to go head first. There it goes. He's got it head first. Where is he going with it? He's wrestling it. He's, re oh my God, he's wrestling it. I've never seen him do this before in my life. That is a big meal for him. Let's see if he can get it down. Come on, come on, Bolt. Go, baby, go, baby. Come on, I taught you well. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's got it by the tail. He's got it by the tail. He's trying his best to get it down. This is the biggest battle that Bolt has faced. I hope you guys are correct, whether you commented yes or no. Guys, it's going down. He's got it going down right now. That's it, he's got it halfway down. He has it halfway down. If he can't get it all the way, he'll regurgitate it, but it looks like, guys, it looks like he's gonna get it. Look at him. He's got that thing so far down. Spike, I would not touch that. Oh my God, oh my God. Holy crap, 
Look at this. Oh, you should have put it head first, man. He's trying to freaking wrestle it and get it down, but if you put it head first, it'd already be in. Come on, dude. Oh, look at him. Holy crap. Holy crap, this is insane. This is absolutely crazy. Come on, Bolt. I hope you're not, like, choking. Are you choking, dude? Just spit it out, man. Just spit it out. Please, I don't want you to choke on it. I think that's, like, what they do in the water. I think he's thinking he needs to kill it. But, uh, he doesn't. It's already dead. Oh, no. He's about to get through it. He's about to cut a hole through it. Look at this. He's got half of it cut. He's got half of it cut. There he goes. He got it. He got it. Half of it's off. Wow. So, if you bet that he would not be able to get the whole thing down in one swallow, you were correct he got half of it he had to work for it though that was pretty nuts and definitely the coolest feeding of bolt yet because he's a savage but i've never seen him have to work that hard for a meal we've got our shark egg right here doing excellent hopefully that shark will be hatching soon i can see the yolk starting to shrink so that means you know what he's getting bigger and he's absorbing all that yolk and all that nutrition inside but that is gonna do it for today's video i have the shout outs of the day so here we go from the youtube shout out to cameron d wall from the Instagram, shout out to fishing underscore life 125. And from the fish guy shop, shout out to order number 2189, Sharon. And if you personally want to make a change in this world, head over to fishguy.shop, get yourself something nice. Every item sold removes trash from the ocean. I love you guys so much. Catch you all in the next video. Peace out.